days, it feels so weird to film again. It feels like it's been forever. My god, this video is gonna be long. Did I leave the tap running? No, I don't think it did. Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and happy new year. It's 2019 and I'm excited. I just want to say before I start this video, thank you so, so much to everyone who has watched my videos. Well, the past year and a half since I've been doing YouTube, um, everyone who's been liking the videos, press that subscribe button, you know, comments every single video. Some of you guys are so, so lovely and I just want to say the biggest thank you because I am truly entering 2019 with a very lovely audience and you guys are amazing so thank you so so much but yeah i really hope you all had an absolutely amazing christmas and a lovely new year whatever you got up to i'm starting the new year filming uh what i got for christmas slash sales video i know it's a bit delayed and probably should have filmed this while i was at home however i just I was enjoying myself and I kind of didn't want to take my camera equipment with me. I took my vlog camera just in case, but I just thought, you know what, let's film it in the new year and combine the two videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We've got a lot to get through and I'm very spoiled, very grateful, not trying to brag in any way, shape possible at all. But um, yeah, here we go. Also, side note, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve. So this is really weird to be saying Happy New Year without the New Year turning. But anyway, here we are. So let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you everything that I got for Christmas. I do have a lot of stuff here um, and I do feel very, very grateful. So this is from my mom. Um, it's from my mom's boyfriend, Billy, um, my auntie and uncle, and also stuff that I bought myself. So um, yeah, I feel very lucky. So let's go. From my auntie and uncle, they got me a pasta maker machine. Um, I am genuinely in shock. As you guys know, I went to Florence with my aunt and uncle to celebrate my auntie's 60th birthday. And they saw a pasta machine. I was like, I've always wanted a pasta machine. And they got me one for Christmas. It's very heavy, hence why I'm resting it on my shoulder. Um, and I feel very, very grateful to have this. It's an extraordinary piece of kit. It's by a brand called Atlas 150. And it, they also got me like an attachment to go with it as well. So I think this helps make different shapes of pasta. It's an accessory. Oh, and also this, um, which dries the pasta out. I just thought that was such a thoughtful gift because they know how much I love cooking and also food and pasta and I've never made pasta before so that is really really thoughtful so I feel very very grateful for that thank you very much Anne and Dave it's okay, so let's just do all of the food items I feel like that's a good idea <laughs> my mom got me a chef's torch so this is a cook's blowtorch and um, and this is obviously for making things like creme brulee um, baked Alaskas, meringues, that kind of thing. This I think was from Aldi, um, but yeah, I just think a chef's torch is an ultimate kitchen accessory, so um, thank you very much, Mum. So my mum also got me a cheese board set. Um, so this has got like a slate coaster and then four different um, knives, I think that's what they are. Cheese knives, yeah, for cheese. I like cheese a lot. I'm gonna try and attempt to do the January. I don't know how well that's gonna go. Vegetarian's fine, but I just love cheese. And I don't know if I'd be able to give up cheese. But anyway, yeah, this, this was a very lovely gift and I'm definitely gonna put this to use. Maybe, hopefully not in January, but for the near future, this is a lovely gift. Christmas, I think it'll be really nice to bust this out, you know, for photos and stuff, but it's got um, a Parmesan knife, a hard cheese knife, a cheese fork, and a soft cheese knife, so there you go. Thank you, mum. Okay, more food. Um, my mum got me a jar of Nutella. It becomes a Christmas tradition. Um, I love Nutella. It's very not good for you, <laughs> um, but it's delicious nonetheless. So yeah, thank you, mum. This is a very nice Christmas gift. I'm gonna use it sparingly because obviously I know it's not the best for you. She also got me some classic Amaretti biscuits. And I just think, isn't that the nicest box for um, a biscuit box? A biscuit with apricot kernels. Obviously these are really nice with coffee. And I just think, I kind of don't want to open them because I think that's just such a lovely box. So um, yeah, that was from my mum as well. So again, from my mum. Um, the rest is that I'm gonna show you is from my mum. Um, she got me some loungewear. So I love loungewear. I have a lot of loungewear. I think I need to sort through the stuff that's maybe looking a little bit past its best. This is from Next and it's crafted for the individual. I think it's 100% cotton. So they just feel so soft. Um, obviously we're coming into quite the colder months now. So these are gonna be very nice. And this it's the matching top and bottom. I feel like such an adult. All my presents this year have been very, um, house orientated and food orientated which i'm not complaining about so the next thing my mom got me is this um egyptian cotton 200 thread count complete double set orthopedic bedding from bristol england um i love good quality bedding i think it's one of those things that you just don't scrimp on if you can afford a little bit more 
here a little bit more because you sleep for about eight hours a day and if you can get a nice good night's sleep every night then you are winning at life uh, and i do have nice bedding but non-egyptian cotton bedding <laughs> um with a 200 thread count includes duvet cover fitted sheet and two pillow cases this is a dream i feel very very happy and i cannot wait to put this on my bed so um thank you very much ma'am this one's quite funny she got me a harry potter egg cup and toast cutter um, I just think that's hilarious. I absolutely love Harry Potter. You can see the little guy in the back. I don't know if that's picking up my camera. Yeah, you get an egg cup. Um, I think you also get an egg topper, an egg spoon, and a toast cutter. So um, I'm going to be having Harry Potter themed boiled eggs and toast for the foreseeable future. And I'm very thrilled about it because I just think that's absolutely brilliant. So that was everything from my mum. Mum also got me like lots of little other bits, um, like some shower gel, just general stuff that's like really handy to have like glasses wipes and things like that. From my friend Charlotte, she got me a set of three Sipsmith gins. There was a third here, but um, I drank it. <laughs> um, it's been a week since Christmas and I was very tempted. It was the summer cup one, but she got me these two um, and they're in a lovely little set. I don't know if it's particularly shown well on camera. It's one of this is their classic dry gin. I actually bought my mum and Billy some of this for their Christmas present and some slow gin, which I love, as you guys know. And the other one was the summer cup. Um, so thank you very much, Charlotte, if you're watching. Much appreciated. Um, I had a very lovely gift arrive from Primark. Obviously, I work with Primark um, quite a lot and they sent me a lovely little care package arriving on Christmas Eve and it was so nice. I had some like pajamas in, some chocolate, things like that, um, a bottle of champagne, which we obviously drank. Um, but there was this lovely little hotel chocolat stocking that had lots of little chocolates and bits in. But I think there's like different chocolates, there's salted caramel pralines in there, it just looks absolutely delicious. And in the stocking as well, how cool is that? So thank you very much Primark. So from Billy, I got this beautiful haul doll. Um, I know you guys have already seen this because I bought it in Florence. Um, he bought me a haul doll last year and it was a tiny little bit too small and it wasn't really the style that I wanted. Um, so he returned it, but for this year he just said, you see something in Florence you like, oh I can just give you some money for Christmas. And I saw this bag and it was absolutely lovely. It's um, it's Italian made and it's just the softest bag. I used this to go home and you can fit so much in. It's got like the side zips, so it goes all the way down. Um, so it really does open up and it is genuinely the nicest bag that I own. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, this was a gift from my stepdad, Billy. So that's everything that I got for Christmas. I feel very very lucky. I just, I just feel so lucky. It was just the most lovely Christmas. Um, but now on to what I bought in the sales. So I got a little bit of stuff online um, and I guess I might do a haul once that arrives. I've ordered things from like Zara, Bershka, Doc Martens. So give the video a thumbs up if you want to see what I got online. Everything I purchased in store. So let's get the food and homeware out that we're with first. Um, so I got two dinner plates. These were from Wilco's and they were originally £4 down to £2 each. And they, they're kind of like plate balls. I featured some of these before from Tiger. However, we accidentally smashed them. So we were on the lookout for some more. And these were so cheap for £2. I just think they look so premium. So they were from Wilco's. The other thing from Wilco's that I got is this palette knife. Um, this had a pound off. It's a useful kitchen palette knife. And it's quite big. Um, it's quite a big palette knife. This is really good for like icing cakes. Um, getting things off trays. This is such a handy product to have and um, Wilco's have got a lot of stuff in this sale at the moment technology wise as well like kettles and toasters and electronics and stuff so I'm um, definitely check them out their homeware is really good too um, I also got two protein bars because protein bars always come in handy these were from Asda um, and I got these for 50p each instead of £1.50 so um yeah saved two pounds <laughs> sorry my maths are terrible but that's handy the next shop I went into was flannels now this is a shop I've never really went to before um and it's kind of like a lot of designer stuff I don't really shop designer that much if at all really but um I kind of checked this out while I was at home and I got myself a champion t-shirt champions a really cool brand and this was reduced from 37 pounds down to 30 which is such a steal um, it got in, I got it in a size large, so it's really oversized, but I just love the fit of it. I think it's so nice. And obviously I know £7 isn't like a massive saving. However, flannels, that's quite good. They're getting one in London. Apparently they've got them all over the UK, which I totally didn't know. So um, that's good. My next purchase was from All Saints. Um, this, again, wasn't a really massive saving. However, it was still a good saving nonetheless. Um, so this was originally £28, and it's not really massively exciting, but it's just a black classic t-shirt with their... Um, logo in the corner um, and I got 20% off this in House of Fraser 
and an additional 10% off at the till. So I think it made it like £19.50 or something, which I know is still a little bit silly for a black t-shirt. However, All Saints t-shirts do keep their um, shape really well. They last a long time and I just think they're such a classic thing. So definitely check out House of Frears if you want to get some um, bargains because they are closing down. Um, I also nipped into Primark. Primark usually don't do January sales because it's quite affordable already, but um, I got this sweatshirt, which is really nice. It's like a red oversized sweatshirt, and this was six pounds, but I had a pound off at the till, so I got it for five pounds. So it's a really nice, um, large jumper slash sweater. I think it's just really cool to just tuck that into maybe some jeans or like a black t-shirt or something. So that was really nice. And then the last thing I got is this scarf. This is from a brand called Amor Amori. Amari. Um, I'll leave the link down below. This is by um, a very lovely friend of mine, Hannah, and her boyfriend Chaz. They've started a new scarf company, I guess, and this is a real cashmere um, scarf, and it's also monogrammed with my initials, LAC. I didn't buy this. This was very, very kindly gifted to me. Um, I just thought I'd include it in this January sale because obviously you guys have some Christmas money or you want to do a little um, treat to yourself. This is genuinely the softest scarf ever. I feel so lucky to have this. Um, thank you so much guys for sending me that. Congrats on your business as well. That's so cool. So I'm really excited to show you this next thing. Um, so I got a pair of Calvin Klein trainers in the sale. Boom. I know I don't need these and I know it's a complete impulse purchase. However, they are amazing. These are some very chunky Calvin Klein jeans trainers. Now I got these in the Foot Asylum sale. They were reduced I think from 150 pounds down to 80. So it's a really good saving. Um, obviously for Calvin Klein it is a designer brand. I know buying designer trainers probably isn't the best investment and obviously they're white so they're not gonna stay clean forever. However, I absolutely love them. I think for the price, they're awesome. I did order some other trainers but I just wasn't as keen so I'm gonna return those. And I'm gonna keep these, and I just think they're really cool. They're kind of like 80s dad trainers, but um, I really like them. So that's everything I got. Um, I feel very, very spoiled and very lucky indeed. But um, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. Let me know what you got for Christmas and if you've got any sale bargains um, down below. I'm really interested to see what you guys got. Um, I will be filming a future video, obviously with all the online purchases when they arrive. But like I say, I hope you all have an amazing 2019. Thank you so much again for all of your support. I really, really do appreciate it. And then um, here's to a really exciting, crazy year ahead. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.